Wednesday morning and we Thursday. Are, Thursday morning sorry and we are in Zagreb Croatia it's our first stop on our Croatian trip um, we're just walking around exploring the capital it's super cute I'll show you guys definitely more like traditional Western Europe than Scandinavia And now we walked up to St. Mark's Church and it is so beautiful. I mean, also it's just crazy. Like there's so many tour groups here already. And it's not even in season yet. So I can't imagine what Croatia is like in season because I know they've had a lot of problems with tourist management. But um, go ahead and look how beautiful this is. You know, just chilling. So good. And we're just having an espresso and hanging out. Trying to get all the layers. Hey guys, so we finished our espresso and cake and we came to the Zagreb City Museum just to learn more about Zagreb. So we're at La Struc getting Strugli and this place is supposed to be super good for it. So that's like a famous Croatian dish and it's like cheese and potato and we got a salty one and a sweet one so I'm excited. You can see they are like piping. Look at that cheese bubble. Yeah, yeah boy! <laughs> We finished our Strugli and we thought it was okay. <laughs> it was cool to try, but it is like the main cheese with the dough is cottage cheese and we're just like not cottage cheese people. So that was hard. But now we're just walking around the square and then we're going to go back to the hotel and chill for a little bit and then get ready to go to dinner. Hey guys, so we went back to our hotel room for a little bit. Um, to change for dinner and just kind of like chill for about an hour and now we um, Are gonna walk to a bar near where we have dinner reservations and just get a drink for dinner So the food here is so good. We started with chicken Caesar salads and they were literally huge. I don't like anything I've ever seen, but now Garrett's trying to explain exchange rates to me, so. <laughs> so we just finished dinner. It was incredibly good. Garrett got the gnocchi with beef and I got the um, steak. We both got salads and um, a bottle of wine and we both got like two mixed drinks each. It was really good. It was called La Turna La du Dolce. La Turna La Dolce, something like that. And it was super good, so. Now we just go back to our hotel and um, go to sleep. So I'm gonna end off the vlog for today. Hey guys, good morning. It is Friday morning and it's about noon. So I guess it's not morning anymore. Um, didn't vlog this morning it was like really stressful for us getting our rental car and navigating out of the city it was pretty it was pretty stressed but we figured it out and now we're um, on our way to Dubrovnik so pretty exciting we're excited 
to see the rest of Croatia and get a better feel for the country and stuff like that. And so road tripping through, I think Garrett and I both agree is like the best way to do that because you get to see more than just like tourist destinations. So that's what we're up to. Just It's like six hours away. So we'll be in the car for most of the day today, but then we'll be in Dubrovnik this evening. We just got to our um, like apartment we're staying in. It's like kind of like an Airbnb deal. Oh, sorry. We just had to go up a lot of steps to get here and I had to go really fast because I left my camera in the car and this the nice guy Marco that we're getting the place from brought it back to me. It's a mess anyway. But look how nice our apartment is. It's right on the street. Oh, I don't want to open the window because then the air conditioning will come off. But look. How freaking cute is this? Hey, please. Hey guys, we're just exploring the city, so I will show you some of what we're seeing. supposed to be super good so we're really excited our waiter is awesome um garrett got a uh, slovenia is that what it was called slovakia pizza and then i got carbonara because i'm that kind of gal and then we got a dubrovnik salad with figs since he told us that that was like something that we can't miss out on so i'm really excited i can't wait to eat <laughs> didn't even think to block because I was so hungry and it was so delicious and now I'm just having some mango gelato from the place that's below us. It's so cute, it's like a gelato place literally right below us and we're going to look out our window and there's music playing because we're on a pretty good street. Yeah. Awesome. So I'm going to end off my vlog. <laughs> oh, well, my vlog for the day and I will talk to you, to you guys tomorrow whenever we're going around to Brovnik. Good morning guys, it's Saturday morning. We just finished getting ready and bought our Dubrovnik cards, which allows you to have access to like the city walls and other museums and stuff like that. So we're gonna go pick those up um, and then get coffee, go on the walls, explore Dubrovnik more. So we're really excited, I'm so excited. We love Dubrovnik just from the couple hours we had yesterday. Hey guys, so I just wanted to say, like show kind of how many people are coming here. So Garrett was telling me that Dubrovnik for the last two years has been threatened by the UNESCO, I guess, council, because they're in UNESCO Heritage Site right now because they should limit it to only like 4,000 people, but they have like thousands every day. And like, I can so see that because there is like no regulation here of like tourist management. Like I've never seen anything like it. Like in all the places I've traveled, like, I was just trying to show you guys, like this is just the square where the most of the tourists get picked up for like when the cruise ship stock and stuff like that. But, like just look, I mean, this is in the morning, so this isn't even when it's popping off. Just all the people everywhere. So basically it's like we go get walk through the walls. And you guys can see this is in the morning so there's not even a lot of people out yet but like they just flood in and all they have is the in and out row there's no more management than this row and then into this square 
It's just crazy, all of these groups. Like, look at this. Unreal, and this is not even when it's most popping. So we just got to the very start of the wall and already look how beautiful it is. Oh, go ahead. So as you guys can see, oh, hold on, there's water on my, okay, so as you guys can see, here is the walls that we toured earlier to keep, to protect from outside invaders, as you guys can see, like, it's basically impenetrable from the water, and they had fortresses at each side of the wall, so here's one of the fortresses, super cool. So it's later on and we are just grabbing a coffee, chilling out. I wanted to show you guys something I thought was really cool. So in all of Dubrovnik, these lanterns that allow you, oh, sorry, I'm trying to zoom in, that say the name of what shop it is on it. So like that's Divino, we're getting a coffee at Glam over there, but all of them have it. You can see all the way up there, which is really cool. Hey guys, so it's a little bit later and we're just chilling at a bar now. Got an Aperol Spritz, Gary got a beer. Just chatting, you know, wait until we can eat again. <laughs> So we got the seafood pasta and then the Salvadia. I don't remember Astoria. the Astoria pizza. So thank you. Thank you. <laughs> 